Hello there, it's Kyle again. Um, I wanted to continue my series of showing you different browser extension wallets to show you all of the different ways to connect Google Chrome with your Ledger Nano. Um, so far I've showed you MetaMask and I've showed you Ravi. I wanna show you a third option that's actually one of my very favorites. It's called Frame. Uh, you can go to frame.sh to get it. And the interesting thing about Frame is it's actually a native application that runs on Mac, Windows, or Linux. What I mean by that is it's not just a Chrome extension, it's actually part of your operating system that uh, it confers a, some extra benefits. Like it's very slick that it works in your native application. Uh, so you'll see, I just, it's already been installed. I've, I've gone ahead and gone through the install process. And what it looks like is this little window that pops out on the right side. Uh, this is Frame. And Frame has a really interesting concept, which is, and I really like it. It's the, the difference between accounts and signers. And so, this, this is actually the way things work, and this is a good mental model to use. This ledger that I have here on my desk is one signer. It's like a cryptographic signer is a way to think about it, but it has multiple accounts that are represented inside of it. And so you'll see that Frame has that sort of, that distinction where I have one ledger signer, and inside of it I have all these accounts. Um, and I could page through them and get through different ones, but there's the first five accounts that are on my ledger device. And for some reason, if yours didn't, this showed up automatically for me, but if yours didn't, you can say add new accounts and click ledger device. Um, because it's a native application, it has direct USB interface and it's very slick. And it's also very like responsive UI. If I want to add multiple accounts or remove multiple accounts, it happens right away, very instantaneously. So let me go ahead and add account 3153 from my ledger. And that's it. Like, let's pop this back in. And there you go. I have this 3153 account set up and ready to go. Uh, and the way that we usually like to test this stuff is we'll go to OpenSea. And you'll see that OpenSea is actually not sure about frame. Like it doesn't know that this is an option. If I try to pick uh, MetaMask, which is the like sort of browser injected wallet, it'll just go to try to have me install MetaMask. So the cool thing that Frame does, there's some websites that support Frame directly, but you don't have to wait for websites to understand that you want to use this. There's this Chrome extension that you can install by going to the settings menu and clicking Chrome extension. And what you can do with that is, let's close open C for a second, add to Chrome. What the Chrome extension does is it has a way to trick websites into thinking you're using MetaMask when you're actually using Frame, uh, which is kind of cool. So let's, let's pin that just to keep it visible here. Now let's go back to open C and if I go ahead and click MetaMask again, I guess I don't even need to. Uh, it noticed that this is OpenSea trying to connect to my account. Let's go ahead and click Approve because that's what I that's what I want. And uh, hopefully that's enough to get it. Yep. Okay. It signed in. You saw it just switched to three one five three. And as before, we're going to test this by going to my Settings menu and seeing if I can access. Look how fast this is. It's like so lightning fast that I love it. Um, OpenSea tried to get this message to be signed. It's crazy hex code that I can't read. This is this is a blind sign again. Um, but this is OpenSea's challenge to say like, I need you to sign this message to prove that you own this account. So I can review it once here, click sign. It says C signer. And I look down, sure enough, uh, the ledger is like, I wanna sign this message. It's the same hex code as before. And let's go ahead and sign it. Successful, we're in. Good to go, and uh, that sort of that's that's how it works. Like this this thing is cool. It has like a gas fee checker built into it. It's got some nice account balances. It's got a way to see your your uh, NFTs if you wanted to look at those. Verify your permissions. Like it's all in one, and it's all in this little sidebar application that shows you the current price of ETH, the current gas. It even can throw a little gas checker in the top of your taskbar if you'd like it to. So yeah, that. That is frame.sh in a nutshell. Give it a try. Maybe um, see if you like it better than MetaMask or better than Ravi and sort of pick which one matches the way you think the best. Those are sort of my three my three favorites, MetaMask, Ravi, and Frame. Try all three. Uh, the, the good news is that you have a ledger, which means that you can be a little bit more adventurous knowing that your account secrets are staying safe inside the Ledger Nano. You're just using its external interfaces to connect to different websites, different Chrome extensions, different mechanisms to, to use the Ethereum network. And all you have to do is just have the Ethereum app open on your Ledger device. 
So hopefully that helps. Uh, give it a try. Try your favorite and uh, let me know which one you think is the best. Um, thanks. Have a good night.